Hello everyone, welcome to the Watchtower, and today I have a brand new unboxing. This is the Batman Who Laughs premium format statue by Sideshow Collectibles. Came in today, we're going to do an unboxing review right after this. Hello everyone, like I was saying before, welcome to the Watchtower, and today... I got in the Batman Who Laughs statue from Sideshow Collectibles, and I'm going to be doing an unboxing review of it. And this is a ginormous box, as you can see. Um, it's probably one of the biggest boxes I've gotten for a statue. It's huge. It's It can barely fit on the table. It can barely fit in the frame of the screen. It's huge. We're going to go over the box real quick, and then we're going to get it out of here so we can get the statue up here and everything and put him together. And uh, then do you have my thoughts on them? So let's go over the box real quick. So this is the front. And I really, really like this box. It's really cool, really creepy. It's got the statue right there. The side of the box, all these, uh, you know, ha-ha-has on it, everything. Back of the box, got some more of the statue. His back, again, all these ha-ha-has. Side, a lot more ha-ha-has. Sensing a theme here. Top of the box says, Batman Who Laughs right there and then the bottom nothing big barcode that's it all right that's the box guys let's go ahead and uh, get the foam up here out of the box and uh you know see what it looks like inside the foam all right that's coming up next all right everyone so we have got the foam up here on the table it is out of the box let's go ahead and open him up and look at what he looks like inside the packaging All right, everyone, so as you can see up here, we have, there we got one portrait. It's got the hand holding the uh, blade, giant blade thing. Got two hands, got the other portrait. The upper body, the lower body right there. We got the face right here. There's the base. It's got the back of like the, the skirting for the back of them. Down here we got one of the one of the weapons with the chain. And then we got the hook with the chain as well. So there he is. Uh, let's go ahead and get him uh, put together now. All right, everyone. So we have the statue up here in the foam. We are ready to get him out, put him together, and kind of go over him, you know, as we put him together. And before I get started, this piece has had a bit of controversy around it because the first pictures came out of collectors when I got in hand, and people did not like how it looked. They thought the paint looked bad. They thought it wasn't as good as the prototype. I mean, um, I've been doing this long enough that pieces are never going to be as good as the prototype. They have, you know, these companies, when they do the prototype, they have the best, you know, painters and painter in the world doing one or maybe two pieces. And then the factory has to mass produce them. So the, I know the paint's never going to be as good, but I want a statue to look, you know, maybe 75% as good as the prototype. Um, so we're going to, you know, open this up. We're going to get, we're going to see how it looks in person. Um, yeah, so we're just going to do that now. Um, let's go ahead and get the base out first. So we have the base here. Get this plastic off of it. Pretty big base. This is looking, the base is looking pretty cool. There's a lot of really good details and stuff in this base, as you can see right there. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, show you the bottom real quick. And uh, yeah, I did get the exclusive. So it's 2,500 of the exclusive. So there's the bottom of it. And I got number 817 out of 2,500. Uh, so there's that. Um, it's hard to say. There is a lot more green and stuff in the stonework of the base. Um, there wasn't as much green in like in the prototype. So it is a lot more green. Uh, it doesn't 
bug me. It just makes the base stand out a little bit more, but the green doesn't really bug me. And, um, yeah, I like the blood effect. It looked more like rust in the prototype, but this, you can actually tell that it's, it's actually blood here. So I actually like that it's more reddish. Uh, this, it stands out a little bit more. So yeah, that's not a problem. I like that. Let's go ahead and keep this moving and we'll get his uh, legs on. And look at the legs and the bottom half looks really good. The boots look great. There's a lot of really great weathering and paint on the boots and everything. That all looks really good. Um, a lot of really great details out there, the stitching and everything. That looks good and we'll get more into that when I actually do my review. But he's got a big peg right here that slides down, maybe. There it goes, slides all the way down in. So there is the bottom half of him. He's looking good right there, there's the bottom half. And then right back here there is a notch, if you can see it, to put in um, his little like uh, bottom half piece. We'll put that in now, and that's and that is not that is plastic, very lightweight, so you don't have to worry about that breaking. But you know, still be careful with it. So that goes in right there. So that slides in. Yep, there's a magnet in there and everything, so it slides in at a little bit of an angle. So there's that. In right there so there's that bottom half there's that looking pretty good let's go ahead and grab this uh, this top half here. and again he looks good the upper body looks really really sweet uh, really great texturing the sculpt looks good all these buckles and everything the patina on them the rusting the stitching again looks really really good so we're gonna go ahead and slide the upper body on and that's gonna big peg right here so we're just gonna go maybe uh, how's that work let's look at it oh right there all right so there is there's the upper body um is that in all the way yeah looks like there's a, a gap over here but i think that's supposed to be there all right so there he is in, no, there's definitely not supposed to be that gap there. All right, yep, no, he is in. All right, so there's that. So there's the upper body. So there's, there he is right there, coming together, coming together. Let's go ahead and get the arms on. And we're gonna do the exclusive right now, uh, not the EX. I'm just gonna do all the exclusive pieces. So the first, got this hand right here that goes in. That looks really cool. And then we got this other hand right here that goes in. Again, looks really cool. Then we'll put in the kind of laughing, screaming head. So, this is what you get when you get the regular. So there's that screaming head right there. That is the regular head. So we'll put that on and that looks, and we'll do more close-ups than when I do the review, but this looks really, really cool. So we'll put that on right there. So there's, uh, there's that screaming head, laughing head, have whatever you want to call it. There's that right there. That looks, that looks awesome. Uh, yeah, really, really cool. And then the other part is the chains that wrap around. So you have the chains that wrap around his arm. So there's one, there's the hook. And then here's this other chain that wraps around his arm as well. And I think this one's actually when you use the, uh, when you actually use the exclusive item, is to wrap it on so it looks like it's part of the exclusive item. But we will do the chain here. And I won't show you all this, uh, you know, because it is going to be 
tedious for you to watch me wrap all these chains around them. So we're going to, you know, skip ahead a little bit. All right. So there is the one chain that I hooked on this arm right here. Um, over here, you can kind of see it and you can run it. You know, I have it up, kind of up here in his hand. You can run it through his hand or you can drop it, you know, down right here. Kind of however you want. Have it hanging out, you know, however you want to. I kind of, um, you know... Or you can, you know, kind of maybe do it like that. So it looks more like he's holding it. That doesn't really work. Kind of kind of works to do it like this. So it's kind of loosely running off his arm. You do have to worry about it rubbing the paint off or anything. So you can do that. Or, you know, just, you know, hang it off his arm. I might do that in the long run. Just hang it off his arm so it doesn't rub that paint. So there's one. Um, I'm just going to do this one right now. I'll worry about, and I'll mess with the other one later and show it in the review. Because I want to get to the exclusive parts. And this chain kind of goes more with that exclusive swap out. So we'll go ahead and uh, switch them out right now. So first, we're going to take this arm right over here. We're going to take that off right there. We're going to put this. We're going to put this uh, gnarly looking axe on instead. So there is that. So we're going to put the axe on there. So there's the axe and the chain in one hand. So there's him. There's his first exclusive. And then the other one is a different head sculpt. So we're going to take off this laughing portrait. Maybe. Really good magnet there. We might take it off. Might leave it. Whew. Really good magnet. All right. So we're going to take that off. And then we're going to put in... this grinning portrait instead so we're going to put on this grinning portrait right there that goes with it as well so there's the grinning portrait we're going to put that on is he, he there he is with the grinning portrait uh yeah i i think he looks great either one you can't go wrong with either head they both look great uh yeah really really cool and really changes kind of like the whole, you know, the piece, those different head sculpts. So I really like that. Obviously, I'm um, going to keep the axe on. Um, but yeah, he looks really, really cool. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit to look him over. I'm going to put this other chain on his arm. Now that, um, you know, we got the axe on there, it kind of goes with the axe. So yeah, I'm going to look him over. We're going to be back and we're going to do the review, everyone. All right, stay tuned. All right, everyone, I have taken some time to look him over, and we are going to do the review now. Um, as always, guys, if you've watched me before, I start at the base, and I work my way up the figure and give my thoughts over the whole thing, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and start right down here at this base, guys, and we'll go ahead and we'll go in close and we'll talk about the base. So, the base is pretty cool and pretty elaborate. Um, it's got a really great elements and a few elements that I really, I don't like. Actually, one element that I don't like. But, for the most part, it's a really nice base. The rusting, the paint, the sculpt on this. Look at the rusting on the screws. Down here in the back cave. Looks really cool. The lights, you know, with that paint on, it looks like, you know, they're actually on. It looks really cool. Uh, this rusting down here and everything coming off of it looks really nicely done. Uh, this green and stuff on the paint or on the base looks really well done as well really nice breakup it's just all not gray there's some greens and stuff in there there's some blacks there's some different colors really nice um yeah um and then we got the blood and everything running down the base right there really really cool um the one element that I don't like about this, I think on the front of the base, I like the I like the aspect, I like the green aspect on the back. I like this, I don't think it's too strong. But I think the all the green on the front, on the faces and everything, is too, there's like too much. In person, there's just way too much like algae green on it. Um, and it's a little distracting. Uh, especially right there on Nightwing's mask. It's really, really bright. I would have liked if they, it would have been a little bit more subtle also on the nose right there. I wish like that green was a little bit more subtle. Not a deal breaker for me, um, but I wish it was a little bit more subtle. The same thing I feel like with the blood. Um, 
it's it it's really you know it really it's dynamic and it really makes it thing on the piece it looks a lot redder on camera than it does in person but i would have liked it just maybe just a little bit more muted with the blood so it wasn't so just like there but it's not so overwhelming like the green is on the front um but still i would have liked if the blood was just a little bit more subdued but um that's just a personal preference it doesn't kill the base for me at all um, and like I said, it looks way more brighter on camera than it does in person. So, uh, it really pops on camera. It's not, not as much in person, but yeah, really just, I wish it would like tone down the greens a little bit, the algae greens on the faces. But other than that, that's really the only issue I have with the base. Other than that, I think it looks really, really well done. I love this grating. I think the grating looks really cool. There's some rusting and stuff on it, you know, really has some wear to it. It looks really cool. Yeah, really, really nicely done. And then moving up the boots and the lower body look really good. I mean, those look like real leather boots. The buckles look great. That all looks really, really nicely done. Yeah, really well done. Look at some wear and some weathering on the pants. Like he's just, like, I mean, he's lived in these pants. Um, got a lot of aging on everything, the stitching. Looks really well done. The knees are worn and dirty. Yeah, so I really like this low, the lower body. The boots and everything look really good. Um, I do want to point out the, the chains real quick because I did spend some time and work on these and kind of got them to where I like them. I might mess with this one a little bit more, but for the most part, I like how they are now. Um, so his forearms, his entire forearms are, both, are magnetized. The chain is actual metal, um, the chain part, not the hook, uh, but the chains are actual metal, so you can pretty much wrap these around his arms and they're gonna stay there. Just be careful because I got them stuck to one of his heads at one point, the chains, because I got too close to the magnet on the bottom of his head and had to try to get those off and everything, but yeah, you can just play with the chains, get them where you want. Like I said, I might play with this one some more. I'm not, not super thrilled with it. And I thought it was supposed to like hook on to the to the axe of the exclusive. It doesn't. You can, so you can just wrap it around. So I really don't know what the point of this chain is. I guess you have that point on the end. You know, you can hit some people with it. But yeah, really cool with the chains. Good weathering, good patina on them. So really nice there. And then moving back. So this, this bottom, like lower, like cape skirting type thing. I'm not really sure what to call it. But it looks really, really nice. Good weathering on that tips and everything got some mud and dirt on them and just so you can see like you know where the line work and everything is it where it's like been weathered and everything and so you know like i said this is not a new outfit this has been seen some use so really nice all the little folds and everything on the pants again looks really good and then moving on to the upper body and again um really really nicely done with this upper body as well just like the lower body you got some really good wrinkles and all the buckles and everything, the patina on the buckles. Um, this streaking down the center of the sh of the shirt um, is a little too symmetrical for me. It's a little just too perfect. And I don't know what it's streaking from. There's not like any chains or anything there. So it's just a little too perfect for me. But um, it's so subtle, like it doesn't just like kill it for me. But it's, it was just a little too perfect. And I don't know what's streaking. If there's like supposed to be buttons like underneath here or whatever that are streaking or buckles or something but other than that I mean look at look at that look at all the stitching everything on his shoulder pads those look really cool everything back here all the buckling and everything again looks really cool the streaking that's not as bad I don't have as much of a problem with that because that one looks like it's coming from the buckle here and everything yeah, so those are really, really nice. Of all the wear and everything, the sculpt, the paint, all that looks really, really good. Yeah, really, really nicely done with that there. And then moving up to the head. And what can I say? The head, man, that's a great head sculpt. Terrifying, creepy. The teeth are look, you know, I mean, they're not great teeth. I mean, the paint's great, but dude definitely needs to see a dentist. That's some serious staining and everything. Teeth are not looking great there, buddy. 
you know, you need to need to work on that. But the mouth looks good, the tongue, all that. Um, on camera, it looks really good. There's a lot more in person. There's a lot more pinks and some reds and stuff, some light reds in the face and everything. But on camera, you can't see it as much. It looks more white. But I really look like that. Um, the cowl and everything, all the stitching and everything looks really good. Um, the his visor, I think it looks good too. I know some people thought it looked plasticky and fake, um, but it's got a good patina and everything on it. Yeah, it's different from the prototype, but it doesn't look plasticky, not in person or anything. It looks, um, you know, it looks really, really well done. So I like that. Uh, yeah, it looks really, really nice. And let's go ahead and do the swap outs because this is the regular right here. Let's go ahead and swap out and look at the exclusives. All right, so there he is with the swap outs with that grinning portrait and the uh, the really cool axe. And let's go ahead and look at this axe real quick. I really, really like this axe. It looks really cool. It's got some good wear and stuff on it, some nicks, some chips, good patina again. Really good paint paint job on the axe. Love this like wrapped stuff on the top with the little spikes. Looks really cool. Um, and I do want to point out the hands real quick on both of these um, while I have that switched out because a lot of people thought that well in the prototype it was more like a dabbed on blood. Uh, it wasn't as strong, and this looks more like like he like stuck his hands in somebody's chest and got blood all over him, and it doesn't bother me. Um, really that it's not, not as more subtle, it's more strong with the blood because it kind of, you know, it goes with the base, which has a lot of blood. So, and at the end of the day, this is a dude who kills a lot of people. And so I don't really have a problem that it's more, more solid than it is more like dabbed on, uh, on the prototype. So yeah, that's not really a huge issue for me. Looks good. And then this head sculpt again, that's a great head sculpt. Look how great that looks. It looks so, so good. Really, really like that head sculpt as well. You know, really change, it kind of really changes the piece as well with that grinning portrait. Um, but I think I'm gonna go with the, with the laughing, screaming portrait, whatever you wanna call it, and the ax. I think that's gonna be my combo. I like how that looks together. Um, yeah, I think it's really, really cool. All right, so that has been my review of this guy. Um, my two cents, I think he looks really good. There are a few things I don't like, but I think for overall paint, um, you know, it. I, I like to have pieces that are about 70, close to 75% of the prototype. I think this one's over. There's a few things that there's like way too much green on the base and, you know, the hands and everything, but that doesn't bother me. Um, this guy's really close to the prototype. I think people that, you know, judge the first photos that came out and everything are going to be kicking themselves when they start seeing some uh, more, pro some people with videos and stuff come out and some people with more professional photography coming out with their pieces. Uh, they're really going to kick themselves. And these people that are like canceling them and everything, their orders before they get it, get it in. I don't understand that. Like get the piece in, take a look at it. If you don't like it, that's fine. Send it back. But why would you... You know, why would you get, why would you cancel your order before you got in? You've already pretty much paid the money or whatever. If you don't like it, send it back. Um, so yeah, but that was my little rant there, if you call it a rant. But yeah, I think he looks dope. He looks really, really cool. Um, he's going to look great with the other Bat Villains. Uh, yeah, he's awesome. Um, I highly recommend guys that if you, if you like this character, if you like this, if you think this piece looks cool, pick it up. I think it looks great. Um, yeah, I think it just looks great. Um, not really anything else I can say about it. Um, thank you all so, so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you the next time I log in for Modern Duty up here in the Watchtower.